Council will now members, it's now the President, Melissa J. Hamilton, ACP, with this September edition of Melissa's Minute. I hope this finds you and those you love safe as we continue to deal with the COVID-19 pandemic. I'd like to share something with you. Take a look at my snow globe collection. I started collecting these after attending my first NALA conference in Tampa, Florida in 2006, and have continued every year since. As you can see, I have quite the collection, including two from this year's 2020 NALA conference at home. There is also the Scales of Justice I won as a door prize at the 40th NALA conference. That was fun trying to figure out how to fly home with. I also have a few NALA and Wadala board service gifts. When days get busy and I'm getting overwhelmed, I like to take a minute to pause, look over this collection, take a deep breath, and remember the good memories and friendships built at those conferences. In these continuing times of social distancing, NALA has a way for you to connect and build relationships. This way is through NALA Commons, NALA's private, member-only collaboration site that was developed to help you learn and engage with NALA members from around the globe. There are many ways for you to explore, including specific groups for student members, new paralegals, those preparing for the CP exam, those working from home, there's professional and career development, and specialty areas. There is even a sidebar for any type of discussion. We've talked about sports, whether you're a cat or dog person, and viewing recommendations for streaming services. You can find the link for NALA Commons on the NALA website. I hope to interact with you soon in the Commons. NALA is also in the early planning stages of the 2021 NALA Conference, which will be held next July 22nd through the 24th in Louisville, Kentucky. We're still planning for an in-person conference with some virtual components, and we'll provide updates as soon as we have details. I hope to connect with you next July, if not in person, then virtually.